over the winter time, I had some time off. Um, I took an old coffee pot, as you can see, and I cut the top off because I didn't need the, the water jacket part of it. And I went and mounted myself a little tiny fish tank pump inside of it, hooked up my hose, got my little air stone in here in case I need want to mix something with water, mix something with air or something. I left the heat plate intact. It's in, it's the heat plate still under there, the heater for this. One thing I did do though is I cut this center out. And then I went and I took a computer fan and I cut all the fins off of the fan blade. I took me a magnet from a hard drive and I epoxied it to that fan blade or to the, the center hub of that computer fan and it made a bracket to go across the bottom and epoxied that fan motor to that bracket so now what will happen if I come over here to the side I mounted myself a little switch over here it's a two position switch right there if I was to flip it up I get my air stones pumping air if I push it down you'll see my little fan will start moving my little thing will start moving and I took it one step farther I hooked up one of those variable two-speed or uh, multi voltage transformers to it what that allows me to do is control the speed on how fast I want my magnetic spinner to spin so it's hard to see it on the video on the uh, speed difference but when you put something in it it's pretty amazing and like I said I left the heater on there the heat plate still on there you see the light comes on so the heat plate still on there now what's cool about this I don't know how many of you have ever taken apart a coffee pot before but the way this particular one works is it has a heater cord that goes around like a horseshoe and right under it is a tube it's a hollow tube so the water came down in through here, went into one side of that, which had a check valve on it. And then as the water heated up, it pushed it back out this side. So I didn't take that tube off. I'm going to put two more ports right here in case I want to heat some water or do something. Because a lot of this stuff you need hot water to do stuff with. So what I'll do is I'll heat it up with hot water. One of the hardest things to find was believe it or not when you put this on there you think you got a magnet in there so you're thinking well okay we'll just put a piece of metal in there that magnet will grab a hold of it and spin it well nah <laughs> it ain't gonna work what I had to do this little red plastic thing here is a magnet this is something that you would slide inside of a socket to make the socket magnetic this thing does wonders just drop it in there centers itself on the on the magnet and then hopefully you can see it and it'll let that it'll start setting that thing it'll send it away so but anyway so um, that was one thing so I've got myself I made myself a heat plate mixer magnetic mixer variable speed and an aerator pretty cool pretty neat little thing I used a coffee pot as my as my beaker you know so uh, it works out really well it's nice is it I can stick uh, canning jars on top of it throw my magnet in there it stirs up for things really well it works you know, Mason's jars work excellent for beakers you know like I said again you know you can go and get 12 of those things for eight dollars versus spending you know eight dollars for one beaker so uh, when you're working with biodiesel glass is what you want to use because of most of the chemicals you're going to use are going to be harsh. Uh, you know, plastic is okay, but you got to get the right kind of plastic. Um, so, again, this is not that important. I may not even put this in the video, or I may, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then I made my own scrubber there. Again, we'll get into that stuff in details.